welcome back for another tips and tricks video brought to you by AppSaven and Acer. And in today's video, we are going to explore how Google Forms and Google Classroom can work together to help you and your students stay organized in the online world. Now, Google Forms is one of the most versatile of all of Google's tools. And my favorite thing about it is how seamlessly it can connect to Classroom and make sure everything is in the same place and nothing is getting lost for you or your students. So let's take a look at just how easy it is to make this tool work for you. The first thing you're going to want to do is check your settings. So come on up to the gear and you need to make sure you have three things checked in order for your form to correctly connect with Google Classroom. You need to check to collect email addresses. You need to check and restrict it to your domain. And you need to check and limit to one response. If all three of these are checked, you will be able to connect your form and your Google Classroom together and make sure everything is working out exactly the way you want it to be. So just save your settings. After your form is ready, you're happy with the questions you've asked, go ahead over to your Google Classroom and create your assignment. And then here's where you need to make sure you're attaching your form correctly. When you click Add, you need to choose from Google Drive. Then you click the form and click Insert. You'll notice that unlike when you add a Google Slides presentation or a Google document, you do not have the option to create a copy for each student, and that's because the Google form is a little bit different. It attaches it already in the link form so that they will be taken directly to it. Then go ahead and click Assign. In addition to those three boxes you have to check, automatically collect emails, lock it to your domain, and limit to one response. If you are connecting a Google Form and Google Classroom correctly, the form can be the only thing attached to the assignment. Now, from the student perspective, nice and easy. They go in, they complete the form. And you'll notice it's just a link here for them. Once they're done and submit it, they can either click open assignment here and be taken back to it in Classroom, or they can just go back to Classroom itself. But the really awesome thing about attaching a form this way is as soon as that student submits the form through the actual form submission link, it automatically marks that assignment as done in Classroom as well. Now, from your perspective, after a student has taken the form, it's really easy for you to get back to this as well. All you have to do is click that same link in the assignment. And then you can click the pencil in the bottom right corner and it takes you to the editing view. And from here, you can see any responses from students. You can see how they answered, you can see who completed it, all right here directly from that link in Classroom for you. No need to go hunting for it in your drive. And this works the same way if I'm adding it as a quiz. I just choose my quiz settings, make sure I choose my correct answers, and attach it the exact same way. You'll now notice that I have this tealish colored bar down here that has my grade importing toggled on. And now, after my student takes the quiz, I can come to Classroom and click this magical Import Grades button, and it pulls their score from the Google Form directly into Classroom, and I can release all the scores from here, show them how well they did. And just the same, I can go in, click the link, see how well they did on individual questions. From the student side, they can then click back into that same form. It tells them they've already responded, but now it lets them see their score. So they can see any feedback you've given them on any of the questions, all from the same link. 
It's all right here for them in Google Classroom. So give it a try. I love using forms and I love the way it is so synchronized together, everything in the same place for both myself and my students because it really helps us to not have to hunt down things in other places. So 